Hi folks, and welcome to your bioethics course for summer 2020 at George Mason University. My name is Tom Wilk, and I'm going to be your professor for the term. In this video, I want to take just a few minutes to introduce myself to you, and I'm going to ask each of you to do the same when the semester begins. I've been teaching at George Mason University for about three years now, uh, and before that I taught at George Washington University, Gettysburg College, uh, Goucher College, and the United States Naval Academy, as well as my alma mater, Johns Hopkins University, uh, where I just finished up my PhD last year. Uh, I did a master's degree in philosophy here at George Mason University, or there at George Mason University, not here in my bedroom, but you get it. And I've had a wonderful time being back at Mason teaching. Uh, I enjoy being in the classroom. I thrive on student interaction and great conversations that arise as we explore really interesting, really profound, really sometimes scary and difficult philosophical ideas. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that this term, uh, or at least not in person, but this summer we're going to try to do that in a virtual setting. Uh, though we won't be meeting synchronously, we will be meeting online and carrying on some great conversations both in our discussion boards and in our Slack channels that I've set up for you. Uh, I look forward to a really, really interesting semester uh, exploring some really profound ideas with all of you. Now, I live in Alexandria, Virginia. Not that that matters, because I can't leave my house anymore. Uh, I live here with my dog, Plato, uh, a little beagle, uh, and my wife, Kate, and my two boys, Sam and Jack. Uh, Sam is six, uh, going on seven years old, and Jack is about two and a half. Uh, both of them keep me very busy, uh, both of them are a riot, uh, and I'll often use them as examples in my lectures uh, just to, to keep things interesting and a little bit personal. You'll also probably hear them screaming in the background from time to time because we have a small house and this is where we are. Bioethics is one of my favorite courses to teach. I've been teaching it since I got to Mason, uh, and it's one of my core research areas as well. Um, it's one of my favorite courses because these are real problems. They're not, you know, head up in the clouds philosophical problems that have no bearing on our daily lives. Although, to be honest, I think most philosophical problems have some bearing on our daily lives. But bioethical problems are problems that each and every one of us is going to face in our lives. Many of you will face them as medical practitioners, uh, as nurses or doctors or researchers. Uh, and even if you don't go into a medical field, you will face questions about uh, reproduction, questions about aging and caring for an aging population and caring for aging family and loved ones, questions about end-of-life care and how we ought to approach death, questions about uh, how we ought to interact with healthcare professionals from the perspective of the patient and the expectations we ought to have of the healthcare professionals we encounter. And questions like the ones we've been facing recently as we uh, embarked on this, this, this uh, interesting voyage into uh, the, the, the global pandemic that we are currently experiencing. Uh, we are facing questions about triage, questions about the allocation of scarce medical resources. Who gets the ventilator? Who gets the dialysis machine? Who gets priority of care? Uh, we are facing questions about the uh, duties we have to one another in a public health setting. How long can we rein in the economy in order to protect the most vulnerable citizens in our community? What can we ask of uh, frontline workers who must be out there serving our communities in order for us to survive, but who are often not treated with uh, the respect or uh, receiving the remuneration that they deserve for the critical kind of work that they do? These are questions in bioethics and public health ethics that we can wrestle with in a class like this, and we'll be developing many of the tools for wrestling with just these sorts of questions. But I've gotten off subject a bit. Um, 
I said bioethics is one of my favorite courses to teach, and it is one of my core research areas, but it is not uh, my central research area. My research lies at the intersection of ethics and the philosophy of language. Uh, so I'm deeply interested in questions about how moral language works, the sorts of norms that govern our use of moral vocabulary, uh, or that govern our behavior as we engage in moral deliberation with one another, uh, and we hold each other accountable to moral norms that we espouse. These are the questions that are of the deepest interest to me, and even deeper than that, the question of how moral language comes to mean what it does. That is to say, how do we account for the fact that these sounds that come out of holes in our heads carry meaning? How do we account for the fact that they convey information? And not only that, but that they can shape our behavior. They can cause us and cause others to act in particular ways. Those are my questions. That's where I spend most of my research time. But bioethics is an exciting field, a field that I am really looking forward to exploring with you all as we face some questions uh, that each of us must confront some point in our lives. So until we begin, take care.